you know, I've been talking to some of the traders in Surat and the same impression Meghdoot got there as well that Nero Modi is someone who did not allow free exchange of information even within his own business. It's shrouded in secrecy, but just about everybody seemed to know that he, that all the, uh, that behind all the glitter and the flamboyant lifestyle was the story of a man who was perhaps bankrupt. See, actually those who were doing business with him knew about all these nitty gritties. But before getting into this further, I'll also like to we have put a statement about the demonetization thing that at 8 o'clock it was declared that by 12 demonet uh, the, uh, the old currencies would not be now a legal tender. And you would be surprised to know, but in Ahmedabad, the place where I am from, all the jewelry shops, there were large long long queues out there, hmm. one point. And second important point, that the cooperative banks, I would like to add here, there were cooperative banks who also, because of this, made hay hmm. while the sun was shining. And that is how this demonetization, for whatever purpose it was supposed to be, un unfortunately, the, uh, the black money did come back into the system. Hmm. Coming back to the Nero Modi point, hmm. yes, uh, the people out here, the jewelers out here, we have a jeweler association out here, and off the camera, yes, they had, they had an in, uh, incline that how does this guy uh, uh, talk, uh, hmm. get so many, uh, does so much big investments hmm. and uh, the hardly they can find people in his stores. That's what it is all about. And how, can, how does he do it? So obviously people did uh, believe that he might be doing something hanky-panky. But nobody knew that he has uh, misused the system or abuse the banking system in such a way which just came out a few days back. Yeah, Anath, if I can come to you.